Hey guys, welcome back to Patty G DIY. Glad you're here. We found this thing at an antique store today. My wife was looking for some dishes to match an old pattern that her mother had and she's going to do the whole Thanksgiving thing with these new dishes and such and it's going to be awesome. Uh, but we ran across this and I'll tell you the story about how we ended up with it. But first, let me tell you a little bit about this. I don't know what you call it, but this goes in the middle of the table and you've got your salt and pepper shakers. You've got your sugar jar and you've got your oil and vinegar for your salad dressing. And this is really pretty cool and we didn't know how cool it was until we got home and started doing some research. So what we have determined is that this whole thing was made sometime between 1885 and 1895. Uh, it's made by Middleton Plate Company of Middleton, Connecticut. Now, to set the time period, this is just after the Civil War. So there's a, there's a maker's mark on it right here. And I'll see if I can't zoom in on that later. And it says Middleton Plate Company, quadruple plate. Now what we've established is this quadruple plate mark was reserved for their best work. Pretty cool. Um, how we ended up with this, this bottle had a stopper in it and uh, <laughs> my wife accidentally dropped the stopper <laughs> and it broke. And I said, well, let's buy the set, you know, find a stopper. And uh, so that's how we got into this thing. So my plan is, it needs a polish bad. We're gonna do some research, we're gonna find out what we need to clean this thing up. Um, this is actually, a carousel. It's got a little problem there, you hear? It's got a little harmonic in there, a little oscillation. We're gonna take care of that. I'm gonna make some kind of a spacer. I'm thinking a milk jug would probably just about do. I think it's gonna be thin enough and, and smooth enough. It's kind of self-lubricating. I think that's what we're gonna to use to fix this. And then we're gonna polish it. And uh, hopefully, I thought to take some before and after pictures. If not, I will. <laughs> and anyway, that's the plan. So let's get this thing started. Hey, okay, after doing some research on, guess what, YouTube? There's an electrolysis method that will gently clean these items, and uh, so that's what we're going to use. Basically, it's baking soda, aluminum foil, and warm water. Should take about 10 minutes a piece. Uh... Okay, here we go. You need just enough water to cover your piece. Almost there. All right. There's that. And we need a tablespoon per quart. That's almost four quarts. I mean, a little more won't hurt, right? And we have to stir it up. And then we dunk her piece. And now we wait 10 minutes. There's a little bit of light right there. See that? I'm gonna see if I can move it. Oh yeah. There were bubbles on that. I don't know if you can see it here. Yeah, see my fingerprint right there? 
There are bubbles forming. Oh. All up on there. Hey, baking soda and aluminum foil electrolysis works. What about that? It's gonna take forever. Okay, I mentioned the wobble on the little carousel part. It's a little bit annoying. <laughs> Not that guests at Thanksgiving will be trying that hard to get to their salt shaker, but hopefully this will autofocus. So I made a plastic ring, a washer if you will, out of a piece of clear plastic packaging uh, that you can never get into without some sort of tool anti-theft stuff so anyway I'm thinking just this washer on the base of, uh, of this pin here let's get it to autofocus it's gonna get us where we need to be I think that's gonna cause it to uh, glide smoothly all right here we go Moment of truth. Hey, it's a lot better. Pretty cool. So I found some adhesive called the E6000. Came highly recommended on the internet as we were searching. <laughs> this has got to be true, right? Uh, this will work with uh, fabric, metal, wood, glass, ceramic, and more. So I'm thinking this adhesive is going to be just the thing we need to glue these back together. So let's give it a shot. The instructions say this stuff dries clear. So I'm thinking that it's going to be just the, just the thing. Never smelled anything like that. <laughs> what? Why did I smell that anyway? All right. Let's take one of these smaller guys. The instructions said to rough it up. It actually is already rough. Maybe from the corrosion from the salt. But. Okay, well, here we are. Let's try it. I'm going to take the actual caps off because I don't want them to uh, be glued to the metal ring. And so, yeah, I think I'm going to do it this way. Well, there's one. That wasn't too bad. Above all, I want to I just want to make sure these things get seated level. If I glue one of these with this permanent glue, and it's off, it'll drive me crazy for the next 20 years. And I don't need any help on that part. There's one lap. <coughs> it looks very good. 
Shoo. The aroma from this stuff <clears throat> is uh, interesting, to say the least. <clears throat> when I pulled this one apart, it looked like it had a uh, maybe plaster. It's really hard pieces of, uh, of a rock-like material. And I thought it may have been plaster that they'd use to uh, glue this together. This is going to take quite a bit because there's quite a gap between the uh, metal ring. And so I'm going to generously apply this. I am just peeling back a little bit of the glue that overran. I'm trying to get it straight. And there we go. Then I'm going to stop right there. What do you think? Turned out pretty good, didn't it? So, on the electrolysis, it did pretty good. It did free up some stuff. I think a good polishing with, with a good name brand polish would have done just as well. Ended up buffing it, and uh, there's some fine scratches in it, so I'm going to look at something we can use to uh, actually try to, try to buff those out. This set's selling for over 100 bucks. Uh, we got it all in. Uh, for like 25 and uh, the lady cut us a real break because we fessed up to breaking the thing in the first place <laughs> honestly it really is the best policy I mean you know uh, but anyway so uh, so we turned out okay on this a um, little more work left to do really got to clean this old glass had to look that up too if you know how to do this leave some comments down below uh, so cool. That wraps up this project. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, Hope you had a good time while you're here. If you liked the video hit the like button uh, Share subscribe check me out on Facebook Patty G space DIY and uh, I'll leave some information out there that I'm not putting on here. You know, they're having a war Facebook YouTube Facebook anyway I'm trying to get promoted on both sides so anyway <clears throat> that's the project i hope you enjoyed it god bless and we'll see you next time see you later